Hi boys and girls. Um, I miss you so much. I'm so sad that we're not in school together. Hopefully we'll be together soon. Um, but because we aren't together, um, I thought it would be fun if I start to read some books to you. And maybe you can read some books to our class as well. Um, this book in particular is my absolute favorite. Um, I really like this author. His name, the author is someone who writes the story, his name is Jory John. Um, I really like his books because they have really fun um, and great messages. This one is called The Cool Bean by Jory John. They're all really cool with their sunglasses. The Cool Bean. Watch out! Here come the cool beans. The cool beans. Oh yeah, check out how they move. Look at the way they swagger. Notice their sunglasses? Yow! The cool beans are known all over school, from house to house, across town, beyond country lines. They look pretty cool. Let's see what happens to our bean over here. In the olden days, last year, we were all one big pot of beans. We were a mixed bag, but somehow it worked. Yep, those were the good old days. And then, we stopped seeing each other as much. That's just how it is sometimes. You spend less time together even though you're not sure why. So they were friends, but look at our friend over here. He doesn't look too happy. He looks kind of sad. I watched as the beans I knew so well, the beans from my own pod became cool beans. Oh, they're so cool. One of them could play the guitar. Cool. One of them could draw the best superheroes. Cool. One of them could play and jump higher than any bean I'd ever know. Cool. They're all so super cool. But our bean doesn't think he's that cool. Let's see what happens. Me? Well, I mostly stayed the same. Sure, I made some small changes. I wore sunglasses. Too big. They're called ray beans. I slicked my hair back. Too slick. I strutted around. Ow, ow! And I swaggered. Oof, he fell. So he wasn't too great at being cool. I was still picked last for everything. My clothes never seemed to fit, and I snorted when I laughed. I walked into stuff, and I was an uncool bean for sure. I started thinking to myself, I was just a com common bean with no special skills. I couldn't compete, so I didn't even try. I'd never be a cool bean. It seems like there were two types of beans in the world. There were the cool beans, and then the beans like me. The days all blended together. I lived my life, and things were just, eh, okay. I took tests, I ate lunches, and mostly kept to myself. The cool beans continued being cool. I mean, sure, I miss them a bit, but it's not like I was gonna say anything. I felt like all that coolness had gotten in the way of our friendship. And that's how it went until one day. I 
I was in the cafeteria. I dropped my lunch on my loafers. Loafers are his shoes. Oh no, not again. But then something sort of miraculous happened. Miraculous means something really spectacular, something really exciting and different. Out of nowhere, one of the cool beans helped me clean it up. He didn't say, even he didn't even say anything. He just gave me a nod and that was it. Later, I was out on the playground. I tripped and I tripped and scraped my knee and maybe cried a little bit and everyone saw. Another one of the cool beans came to my side and without a word, he dusted me off. So he fell, scraped his knee. He probably felt a little embarrassed that he cried, but the cool bean came and said, nothing. Picked him up and just dusted the dirt off him. But that's a cool thing to do. That afternoon, I was sitting in class. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't notice, but our teacher had called on me. Everybody stared. I sat there in silence. Nobody said anything. And then, and then, everybody just laughed at me. That was it. After today, I was officially a has-been. He was very embarrassed. Everybody laughing at him? I know, I would feel very upset and sad and embarrassed for everyone was laughing at me because I didn't know what was going on. But then, one of the cool beans stood up and came over to me. Everybody watched. She leaned in close and whispered, Hey, the teacher asked you to read page 32. She then gave me a quick wink and she went back to her seat. It was the smallest gesture, the smallest thing, sure, but it was also everything. notice that these cool beans are doing. They're pretty nice. I walked home with a goofy smile on my face. I smiled all the way through dinner. That day made all the difference. It was a day that couldn't have been really bad, if not for the kindness of some cool beans. It gave me a shred of confidence. That shred of confidence has continued to grow. So because they helped him, now he's a little bit more confident. He doesn't feel like a different being. Somebody had my back, or a few somebodies. After that, I started hanging out with the cool beans again. How have you been? Get it? How have you been? Not all the time, but sometimes. At lunch, after school, and even on the weekends, they would hang out with each other. Throughout all of this, I realized that it's not about how you look or any of that other silly stuff. It's about a wink or a nod or a smile at just the right moment. It's about dusting somebody off, helping them up again, and pointing them in the right direction. You need a hand? Yes, please. Now that's cool. So I absolutely love this book because just because you think people are cool because they might walk a different way or a certain way or they might talk a certain way and you think, oh, that's really cool, but they might not be that nice. But in this book, to be cool means to be nice to everyone, to help somebody who needs help. So love this book. I would like you to write in your notebook and think what it means to be cool. What can you do to be cool? Bye boys and girls, hope to talk to you soon.